We got to work on the behavior. So even if you are anxious and depressed, you got to take actions that healthy people take, even though you don't feel like it. And what happens is all of these things affect each other. So as you take more and more actions that happy people take, you will have better and better moods. Overcoming anxiety and stress is not something that you usually can do from just one tip or one session. It's something that you do by changing daily practices. So your mood is a result of your habits, okay? Your habits in um, how you talk to yourself, your habits in um, how you spend your time, uh, your habits in uh, the emotional states you're used to sitting in. People with depression, anxiety, trauma tend to have more disease and it tends to be difficult to heal. Okay, so I made a triangle. All right, so when you're trying to change the way you feel, guys, there's different aspects of it. Okay, so here, let's put your moods, right? Depressed, happy, joyful, grateful, anxious, right? There's your mood. Then over here, we've got your thoughts, right? And over here we have your actions, what do you do? All right, so out of all of these things, what is the easiest thing for you to control? Well, can you control your feelings? That'd be awesome, but not really, not directly, right? It wouldn't it be great as if you were in a bad mood, someone said, snap out of it, and you went, oh my God, thanks, I, I didn't think of that, right? It doesn't work, right? Changing your thoughts, possible, takes a lot of practice, okay? That's why I do my rapid recovery group, a lot of this. Behaviors, right? So one of the reasons why people have been able to eliminate depression, anxiety in my group. I actually just got a text message from someone in my previous group who just, she just went to the doctor. She's doing amazing. She lowered her thyroid medicine by half. She's doing really well. But one of the things she just wrote to me was, thank you for helping me get rid of my anxiety, right? Cool. How do we do that? Well, every day for 42 days, we're working on this, okay? So the first thing we start changing is their behaviors. What actions do you take? So when you're in rapid recovery, rapid recovery is not a diet. It is a anti-inflammatory lifestyle. Okay, so we're changing their behavior. We're changing what they eat and making sure that they eat it. I wanna see pictures of what you ate and all that stuff and I'm gonna look at it every day, make sure you're doing it right. We're changing how they spend their time because self-care is required, right? We're, we want people doing activities every day to raise their mood, whether they feel like it or not, right? It's easier to change your behavior than any of these other things. So they're doing, they're doing activities every day to increase their mood even though they don't feel like it. And we're looking at things like their sleep. All right, so all of those things, behaviors, right? Now, in addition, we personalize it. If someone's having a fight with their spouse or their sibling, we ask them, like, tell us what happened. And then I give them, I tell them, hey, why don't you try doing this? Why don't you try doing that? And help them work on their relationships. Okay, we've helped people's marriages, all sorts of stuff, right? So behaviors, we gotta work on the behaviors. So even if you are anxious and depressed, you gotta take actions that healthy people take even though you don't feel like it. And what happens is all of these things affect each other. So as you take more and more actions that happy people take, you will have better and better moods because there's direct feedback from your behaviors and your moods, right? If you listen to your moods, your a depressed mood will say, don't eat healthy, eat tacos and ice cream or whatever, right? Drink alcohol, right? Uh, a depressed mood will say, stay up all night watching TV, don't get enough sleep. A depressed mood um, will say, I don't wanna do self care, I don't feel like doing anything, take care of myself. So we can't let the mood dictate the action, we take action anyway. And so for a lot of people, they won't take that action unless I'm there every day cheering them on and say, yes, you can. Let's do it. Do it anyway. I know you don't feel like it. Do it anyway, right? So that's one thing. That can directly feed back on the moods. The other thing that feeds back on your moods are your thoughts, all right? Now, as you take positive behavior, that affects your moods, and then when you're feeling more positive, you have more positive thoughts. So there's direct feedback, okay, both ways. But the other things we work on is thoughts. So every day in my group, I do trainings on thinking. So I start teaching people about how to stop listening to their own brain. Right? It might sound like a weird thing to do, but what I, what I help them understand is that your brain got you into your current situation. Right? So all the things that have happened to you, all the things other people have done to you, all the traumas you've experienced, every thought you've ever had has created your current health. So in order to change your current health, we can't just change your diet. We have to change the way you think, the way you talk to yourself, all your habits. That's why all of this is a part of how my group works. So 
when I start working with that, I deprogram them. If your thought is, I can heal just like everybody else. I'm not a mutant, I'm a human. And humans need certain nutrients, and I'm gonna do what Dr. Goldner says to do so I can get the health that everybody else who doesn't get. I know I can do it. If you believe, I know, if you're telling yourself, I know I can do it, what's your mood? Hopeful. What do hopeful people who believe they can do it do? They take actions that are positive. What do people who are depressed do? They feel hopeless and they take no action. So that is how you treat anxiety and depression. It's not just one thing. It is a constant daily practice of creating habits where you learn how to talk to yourself in a positive way, abolish your negative behaviors, and that's what actually uplifts the mood. All of those things combined because mood by itself doesn't change. You got to change the thoughts. You got to change the behaviors. So I use all of that knowledge that I've used to help people heal from trauma and depression, anxiety all those years. And I incorporate that with hypernourishment. And that's why our results are so fantastic.